my good people welcome back to the blessed beyond measure podcast i'm your host seal the source thank you once again for tuning in to another episode i'm your friendly neighborhood hope dealer serving up some of that good old motivation inspiration and that positivity thank you for tuning back in yo i appreciate it and i hope y'all are all doing well today i wanted to just jump on here for a few minutes to talk about the importance of structure it's been kind of crossing my mind a whole lot lately in terms of productivity levels and just seeing the productivity levels in terms of what I'm doing, what I'm creating, the direction I'm moving in, the progress that I'm looking for, and everything that's happening in my life. And I've started to recognize when you create a little bit more structure in your life, yo, a lot can get done in a little amount of time. And we all get the same 24 hours in a day. I understand we all got different circumstances. Some of us got 12 kids, some of us got seven jobs, all that shit. So I get it. You know, life is tough. Life is difficult, but structure can really, really provide some much needed support in those areas and really kind of get you organized so that you can be productive and be your best self every single day and strive closer and closer to getting, you know, to all your goals and everything like that. So with that being said, I also wanted to touch on the current state of the world right now. Um, looking at the news, you're never really going to find nothing good, you know, which is why I barely even turn on the news, but I'm aware of all the crazy stuff that's going on right now. So I'm not going to get too much into it, but I will just pay it respect in terms of understanding that we are in a fairly turbulent time in our lives right now. And if you are feeling overwhelmed and if you are feeling under the weather, feeling down, whatever you're feeling, yo, sending you love and light and support and just wanted to let you know that things are going to get better. They always do. The world tends to be this way, you know what I'm saying? And through acceptance, you kind of understand that. And for myself, I'm well aware of what's going on. Uh, Like I said, I'm not going to talk too much about it to to put too much light onto it. If you want to learn more about what's going on in the state of the world, Go ahead and turn on the news at your own at your own discretion, of course. For myself personally, I don't really turn on the news. But like I said, if you are kind of feeling a little low right now, it's it's natural. You ain't the only one. Trust me. A lot of people are going through it. Even myself, as positive as I like to be and try to project myself to be, and as positive as I am, I still have my down days. I still have moments throughout my day where I shake my head, where I'm, I question things and I'm wondering what the hell is supposed to happen next. You know what I'm saying? And it's, uh, it, it feels like a time in our lives where it's just one thing right after another, back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? So all I can really say is keep your head up, keep your chest out, keep, keep doing what you're doing, keep grinding keep getting better, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Focus on the things you can control and try not to get too overly consumed with the things that you can't control because that's what's going to lead you down these crazy rabbit holes. And it's really going to be difficult to pull yourself out. And with that being said, everything that's going on right now should not be taking you away from your goals. Your goals should always be there for you to be going after no matter what's going on in life. I understand how crazy things can seem, things can be. And like I said, if you want to know what's going on, turn on the news at your own discretion again. But with that being said, that doesn't mean that you got to toss your goals aside. We all got the same 24 hours in a day. I'm fully aware we got different circumstances. Some people, like I said, got different situations i know people got 12 kids work seven jobs so you know say got all sorts of obligations and responsibilities so i get it and i'm no i'm no different i've got plenty of things that i need to take care of each and every day so i'm not trying to sit here high and mighty and tell you that oh it's it's easier for me or anything like that or like get it done regardless but that's exactly why i wanted to talk about today's topic which is the importance of structure. Now, for me, there are times of overwhelm. There are times of feeling like, man, there's not enough time in a day. But I notice when I do create structure in my life in terms of organizing, taking the time literally to 
sit with a pen and a pad or put it into my notes section into my phone to just map out the day, map out what I want to accomplish and really just set out an actual plan of how I want my day to go, what I need to do to get there. Yo, it really, really helps me be so much more productive and and get so much more done. And there's a quote that I like to go by, which is very simple one. I go by many quotes, but here's one that I want to share in regards to this topic. It's focus on being productive, not busy. And I think a lot of times we're moving around so fast. Things are moving so fast. We're just trying to accomplish so many different things without actually being productive, without actually moving the needle forward in terms of accomplishing our goals, knocking down our goals, you know what I'm saying? And making real progress. And maybe that's why we're so fatigued. Maybe that's why we get a little dejected. Maybe that's why things just seem so chaotic and you seem like you're never really making progress. Because I know for myself personally, I've been in that situation. I still end up in that situation every once in a while where I wonder like, damn, what, like, I, it, t- it takes so long to do certain things. You look up and it's like most of the day went by. Even right now, as I'm creating this podcast, it is March 17th of 2022. And it's close to 4 p.m. in California. And for myself, that's late as hell. I just, today was my one day off that I had from work. Um, so I really tried to give some time back to myself in terms of making sure that I went to the gym, making sure that I took some time to read, take care of all my daily essential um, practices for myself in order to keep my head strong, in order to keep my head straight and clear, you know what I'm saying? So that's important time for me. And now when I look up, it's already like more than half the day is gone and I'm already approaching the evening. But it is what it is. I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. What I'm going to do is take it for what it is, try to be as productive as I can with the time that I still have left in the day and just really try to get stuff done that's going to be geared towards accomplishing my goals and and being productive in areas of my life that I deem are the most important. So with that being said, ways to provide structure in your life for myself personally what I like to do before I lay my head to bed at night is plan the day, plan the next day, the night before. So for instance, today's Thursday, as I mentioned, before I go to bed tonight, I'm just going to put together a checklist of things that I want to accomplish tomorrow. I don't really like to put too much pressure of like, oh, I need to accomplish this. I need to accomplish this, but I'm going to put together a list of things that I want to accomplish. And then I'm going to prioritize them by number, literally by number. So I'm going to, you know, the smallest things I'm going to obviously are obviously going to fall at the end of the totem pole and the bigger ones are going to end up at the top. So I, I, I focus on accomplishing those, you know, with each day that passes. And that list is a rolling list. It's changing constantly. So for myself personally, it, I really like this method because you feel actually like, oh man, I, I, I did something that's actually moving me forward, moving me in the direction of knocking out my goals and and obtaining or doing whatever it is I set out to do, right? So for myself personally, I think you guys all know by now, I'm on a a road to greatness. I'm on a road to achieving success in all areas of my life um, and and creating financial freedom for myself and um, just tapping into all sorts of abundance, all sorts of great abundance in my life, you know what I'm saying? And in, in many ways, I've already done that. But I still have ways to go in terms of what I envision in my own mind and the plan that I have for myself. So you just got to keep going. You know, there ain't no quitting this shit right here. There ain't no quitting my grit like E40 said, you know what I'm talking about? So, yeah. Um, With that being said, going back to the method that I just described, I really like that method because you really feel like once you knock out those like top three priorities, and that's what I do, too. So I'll number them but I put my top three up at the top and those are the things I'm going to focus on each day. And I'll be honest with you. There's days I don't always accomplish the top three priorities. And I, and I kind of just go with some of the easier ones just to get those done, just depending on how the day shapes out. But on the days where I really, really buckle down and I have a little bit more free time, like today when I was off, 
I knocked out a bunch of stuff. And this was one of my priorities today too, was to create this episode, actually spend time dedicated to creating an episode of the Blessed Beyond Measure podcast for you as part of my mission, as part of my purpose to give and to serve and, you know, just do what I do, which is get on this microphone and try to provide that positivity because I'm your neighborhood hope dealer. Remember that. Don't forget it. <laughs> but with that being said, when you do this, when you go, when you take this approach for myself, it's about knocking out win after win after win, even if they're small wins. And at the end of the night, when you're kind of reviewing the day, because that's also what I do as I'm preparing for the next day, I take a review of my day and I'm like, okay, what did I do today? How many boxes did I check off? And where these boxes actually, excuse me, my nose is like really itchy right now. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> but yo, in, 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 in terms of how many boxes I've crossed out that day, that just lets me know how productive I was rather than actually being busy, feeling like I'm just doing so, like a million things in one day, I'm actually making progress towards some of the things I set out to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I just put together this list and knock them out one by one by one sometimes in order, sometimes not in order. And I, even in this talk right now, as I'm talking about structure, I myself am learning how to apply more structure because I feel like if I stay committed and, and I'm disciplined enough to just go down the list, man, I'll actually get the ball moving forward so much more faster and not even faster. Like I, I just accomplish more and I won't have to come back and redo stuff or I won't have to worry about stuff. But it's, a, it's all about making that commitment. And the commitment starts really now and all the way at the night before, before your next day starts. So for instance, again, tonight, as I review and as I create the list of what I need to do tomorrow, I really set, set out maybe 20, 30 minutes to actually doing this. This isn't just no like chill and really just bullshit and, and put together some sort of weak ass list. Nah, I'm actually intentional about what it is I'm trying to do. And I set out an actual plan on how to, how to get that done. And, you know, you got to manage your time. You got to put, you got to recognize what obligations you have. For instance, if I got work at 1 PM the next day, I have a whole amount of hours that I have from the moment I wake up until the day, you know, the moment I actually have to be at work. So if you're structured enough and organized enough and detailed enough, you can really, really slot in a lot of productive activities in that span of time. And that's what I do exactly. You know what I'm saying? Some days, there are days where I'm like super just low on energy. And it takes me longer to get through my morning practices, which I've talked to you guys about several times in several different episodes. But if you need a refresher, part of what I do on a daily basis is I have a set of non-negotiables that I deal with every day. They're, they're my practices that I have to get done every day. And no matter what's going on, I always get them accomplished. Um, I have to meditate at least 15, preferably 30 minutes a day. And that's usually one of the first things I do in the morning. Um, I have to get a workout in at least intentionally moving my body at least 30 minutes, whether it be going to the gym or even just getting out there and, and taking a walk or playing some basketball, just intentionally moving my body. So that's for my health. Um, on top of that, I set out enough time for myself to read at least 10 pages a day of whatever book I choose. Uh, the current book I'm reading right now is a book by Thich Nhat Hanh. It's, uh, it's called No Fear, No Death. And I started this book maybe about a week and a half ago and um, almost done, almost done with this 10 page a day type of thing. You know, it's just that little incremental progress each day. Um, and there's other things on the list, you know, personal things that I do for myself in terms of just to, to get my motors going each morning. Um, because I'm, I really, really believe that if you start your day the what the right way, it can set up your whole day. It'll keep your mind sharp, your attitude the right way that you want it to be, your vibrancy at a high level. And um, gosh, my nose is excuse me, y'all. I don't know what it is. It's allergy season out here or something, but my nose is kicking right now. <laughs> but again, going back to what I'm saying. 
I have these practices that I got to do every single day. These are non-negotiables. And it usually takes me anywhere from, from an hour to an hour and a half to sometimes two hours, just depending on how I'm feeling that day. But with that being said, I do those things first thing is in the morning. So what I'll typically do is say, for instance, if I have work at 10 a.m., just throwing an example out there, if I have work at 10 a.m., I got to give myself at least that two hour window so I could take my time. I don't like to rush with my stuff. So I'm going to wake up at 7.30 or 7 just to give myself extra time to do what I need to do. I don't like to rush. I want to take my time with this stuff because this is my time. This is me giving back to me before I can give back to anybody else, before I can pour into other cups. I need to pour into my cup, if you, if you know what I'm saying. And that's the way I do that for myself. That's the way I revitalize myself, get myself going in the morning and do what I got to do each day and make strides and make progress in, in several areas of my life. And it's helped. I've been doing this now for years. And for myself, it's really allowed me to keep a just a clear mind. Uh, it makes my body feel good. You know what I mean? In terms of uh, health wise, and it just sets up the whole day because if I don't do this, I feel off kilter. I'm not really my best self when I'm out there in the real world, interacting with other people. And it's, uh, it's not the best, it's not the best formula for, for success. So similar to that same kind of structured non-negotiable list that I have, um, even though it's kind of flexible, they all have to get done. It's in no particular order, but it's still a structure. I, I understand that it takes me about an hour to an hour and a half. So I set out the time before I actually got to deal with some obligations like jobs and everything like that. And similar to that, each night I have a nighttime like routine as well, like a wind down method for myself. I like to make sure that I review the day, like I mentioned kind of look at like how the day went, kind of review the interactions I had, how I presented myself, the things that I accomplished, and just how well the day went, and analyze that, break it down. And, you know, whether good or bad, you got to kind of identify that for yourself. And for myself, as I've kind of continued on this path, and really followed this structure, it's helped me to see so much good that happens in each day that I'm doing each day. And it helps me create progress in those areas that I'm trying to create progress in. And with that being said, I then get to creating the plan for the next day. So I'll spend some time creating the plan for the next day. I got to recognize, you know, what I got to do. And then I got to fill in those time blocks and um, just try to be as productive as possible. You know what I mean? I prioritize the things that are really, really important again, through numbers um, and just try to follow that to a T as much as possible. And once I'm done with that, I like to wind down the best way possible. And it doesn't happen like this every single night. I'm not a saint. I'm not perfect at this. I'm still getting better and better. Um, but I like to put my phone down at least an hour before I go to bed, turn the lights down low a little bit, really just kind of let myself power down almost like a computer. And I also like to just read a book during those times either read a book or turn on some positive night affirmations to kind of really just power me down, get myself into a state of relaxation so I can get into a deeper sleep. That way, when I'm sleeping, I'm recovering the best way possible and really set myself up for success the next morning. So again, the topic of conversa conversation is the importance of structure. And I get it. We all have vices. We all have guilty pleasures. I'm no different. I love sports. I love what, seeing funny stuff on Instagram, seeing entertaining and fascinating and interesting stuff on Instagram. I'm no different. Um, but what I will say is through self-discipline and, and also self-awareness, I start to recognize how much time I'm actually spending on that stuff versus actual time I'm spending on my goals. And it upsets me when I spend too much time on stuff like that versus actually spending productive time and energy on accomplishing my goals. So with that being said, it, it really takes 
a keen sense of self-awareness to, to realize where your time's going each day. And really what can help you identify that more and more is creating this structure in your life, just creating some organization in your life. I use, I, I literally use the note section in, in my phone to just plan the day, write down notes, remind me of stuff. And I just keep it there. And I'm constantly going to that every single, you know, every single day at various points throughout the day, just to see what I, you know, what's, what's on my agenda, what's on my to-do list. You know what I'm saying? Not in a like frazzled sense where like, Oh, I got to do this. I got to do this. Nah, I don't do that for myself. I really go at my own pace. Um, and I really try to be intentional about stuff. I don't want to be overwhelmed by feeling busy again like i said i want to feel productive i want to feel like what i'm doing is actually getting me closer to manifesting my dreams and my desires so with that being said it's uh it's still a practice it's a practice that i'm trying to master every single day but i but i'm telling you as i've done it i've started to see real attainable results in my life tangible results in my life um, and I know for myself, we all got the same 24 hours, like I mentioned earlier. And when I'm a little bit more deliberate about how I organize my day and really kind of follow it and I'm, and I'm self-disciplined enough to follow that plan, so much more gets done. So much more productivity is being shown in my life. So I'm just sharing that with y'all as part of my progress. And I think that if you were to apply this in your life, you would definitely see a lot of benefits from it as well. Now, that's all I really got for today in terms of the importance of structure. And I'm sure I'll revisit this at some point as I kind of find new ways and new methods and how to do stuff. But for now, this has really been working for me. Um, it's really allowed me to look at everything physically look at everything rather than just keep it jumbled up in my head and feel like, Oh, I forgot something. I'm actually going down a checklist using that organizational skill to string together win after win after win, whether they're small wins or big wins. And I'm telling you, the more you check off your list, you're like, Oh yeah, you get, you feel a momentum and you're like, okay, bet let's go keep going. So for me, that's really helped me a lot. And I really feel like it's going to help you guys out a whole lot too. So we have reached the end of the episode, and I believe this is episode 22 of season three, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Thank you, y'all, for really rocking with the boy. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for putting up with me scratching my nose this whole time. <laughs> Allergies been kicking lately, man, for real. But I really, really am wishing all y'all well. I hope that everything gets better and better for you every single day. If you're in a place where you're feeling low and you need some help, please, by all means, feel free to reach out. Y'all know how to tap in with the boy, man, at Bless Beyond Measure Podcast on Instagram, at CL underscore the source. I'm also on TikTok. I'm also on Twitter. I'm also on Clubhouse. I'm on all sorts of different platforms. I'm on Facebook now. Yo, y'all bet. Speaking of that real quick before I wrap up over here, Facebook is a different beast now, yo. I ain't been on Facebook in like, I ain't, I ain't been on Facebook in like 15 years. <laughs> I know I'm an old head, but you know, it's, uh, it's crazy. It, it feels like a whole new ball game playing with Facebook now, man. It's like, I, the good thing about it is when I post from my Bless Beyond Measure podcast account, it posts automatically to Facebook. So I don't even really be on it like that, but I do check my messages. I do check, you know, who's, who's commenting and interacting with the posts and everything like that. So if you're somebody that catches wind of this and you feel like you just need some help, you need something that can lift your spirits or you just need somebody to talk to, yo, man, feel free. The door is wide open. I got an open door policy. <laughs> I know this ain't no company. I ain't going to rip the door out of my out of the uh, frame over here just to show you all that. But I got an open door policy. So if y'all want to holler at the boy, man, holler at me. Talk to me. I'll talk back for real, for real. But Thank you so much for supporting y'all. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Stay up and stay blessed. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Listen.